Well, simply put, the clock ran out on the Cleveland Browns here in Kansas City as the Browns fell 17 to 13. Johnny Manziel had them on the move to try and go ahead and steal one from the Chiefs here at Arrowhead. But the Browns ran out of time. After a big completion, the Browns could not get to the line in time to spike the ball and have one last play against the Chiefs. And it was a strange game. The Browns went into the half down 17 to 3, but it was all Browns in the second half. They did not let the Chiefs score another point on the day. The Browns won the second half 10 0, but again, it was not enough. Johnny Manziel looked like Johnny Football from Texas AM running all over the field. He actually led the Browns with 108 yards running. Rushing. Isaiah Crowell had 16 carries for 88 yards and a touchdown of his own as the Browns ran for 232 yards against this Chiefs team. The Browns had more first downs than the Chiefs. They had more total yards than the Chiefs. They had almost 100 more rushing yards than the Chiefs. The only place they didn't have more was on the scoreboard and all it seemed that they needed was just a little more time and they would have gotten it done today. They pulled out all the stops. A fake punt from Chris Tabor special teams unit was converted by Jordan Poyer. The defense was locked down. Nate Orchard with the first interception of his career. Johnny Manziel threw one interception as well in the first half, but ultimately it did not end up hurting the Browns. It was just simply not enough time. The Browns dug themselves too deep of a hole against a team now in Kansas City that has won nine in a row and couldn't climb out of it despite a valiant second half effort that saw them come oh so close to shocking the world in Arrowhead. But the story of the day will be Johnny Manziel holding his own against one of the very best defenses in the NFL and showing that dual threat nature that can make him so effective going forward in his NFL career as he once again ran for 108 yards today. Not enough though, not enough time, not enough points, not enough victories for the Browns this season, but certainly an effort that they can hold their head high after this game here, 17 to 13, they lose to the Chiefs in Arrowhead.